Yeah, um, you know, most in the, the GTA, the Grand Theft Auto, most of the players that you see come from that area, there's a few that, that are from the outside who, who um, you know, like come to Owen and who are from there and, and those you know, type of guys. But, you know, for the most part, you know, most of us live within, you know, 45 minutes of each other. Have you thought about it all uh, as a kid growing up? Playing for the Raptors. I know you'd like to go higher, obviously, but have you thought about that scenario at all? What it would it be like to play at home? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I think anybody, you know, for the most part, would love to play in their hometown. I mean, growing up, going to Raptors games and getting that experience as a, as a little kid, and then you know, as a, a player in the NBA, being able to play and, and live in a city that, that you grew up in would be a great opportunity. And uh, you know, they, they had a real good year this year, and, and I think uh, you know, the city of Toronto is really behind them. And, and going forward, I think they can only go they can get better. You can't control your situation, obviously, and where you go. But have you started to think about as you're going through these interviews, you know, looking the, at the other side of the mirror and saying, you know, this is a situation I might like want to be in. This um, isn't one either. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 a little tough, you know, watching you know the end of the season. You know, you kind of have an idea, you know, uh, you know, I'll be able to play in the league next year if I have the. You know, if I if I decided to slow, you know, watching games got a little bit different for me. Um, you know, comparing myself to other point guards and, and seeing how I'm fit on each team. But you know, through the process, I'm you know, there, there's no team I would you know, do an interview with or, or be interested in because you know the league's so tough. You know, it's a business. You don't know where you're going to end up, and you know, uh, you know, team might not be picking it. And you know, where I'm going to go now. But you know, going forward, if I have a good interview with them and build the relationship, I think uh, you know, that can only help me in the long run. Most people have know you. Have you met with Magic yet? And uh, if not, when do you have a meeting scheduled? Uh, I haven't met with the Orlando Magic. I don't think they're on my schedule as now. But uh, you know, going forward, I'd be really interested in, in, in meeting with them. You know. What would interest you in, in their situation? The Magic, I think. Uh, you know, they're, they're such a young team. They have you know so many pieces already. I think they're just you know, continuing to build and. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know with Jameer Nelson there, there's somebody who's, who's able to teach you know a young point guard who's going in there. They have uh, you know two picks in, in uh, you know, the lottery, so you know, they'll be able to bring in two talented young players along with the pieces they have. So I think uh, you know going forward, it's only up for. Uh, most people know you as a pass point, pass first point guard, uh, but they don't know that you can shoot the ball as well. Is that something that you want to showcase during your workouts to let teams know that they can knock down perimeter shots as well, being a point guard? Yeah, definitely. I think in the NBA it's a little bit different in college. You know, uh, you know, I tell you, I had the ball a lot in my hands. I think in the NBA I'll be able to uh, get in more situations where it's catch and shoot. And I think I'm, you know, a really good shooter. And I think, you know, through work, I'll be able to show that a little bit more. And uh, you know, percentage-wise, at Syracuse, you know, my numbers weren't great, but you know, I think, uh, you know, I'll be able to surprise some people with the way I shoot. And what other aspects of the game did you try at home, on, in, on and on, to, uh, to get better for the Um I'm like you say improve. Yes, yeah, so other than the shooting, yeah, improve. Yeah. Oh, improve. Um, you know, going forward, you know, not only for the draft, I think just for the next level, I want to get get stronger. I think uh, you know, guard, point guards, night in, night out, we're all star caliber. I think you know, it takes a toll on. And uh, you know, I've talked to a few, you know, a few of my friends who play in the league, like my Carter Williams, and he told me how tough it is. So you know, I want to you know get a little bit bigger for the next level, and I think uh, I want to improve on my speed a little bit. I mean, guarding. You know, Ty Lawson and you know, point guards who are so athletic, you know, full court, you know, it can only help you. What you player do you compare yourself to? Um, Tony Parker. Uh, you know, I think he's uh, you know, more of a scorer than, than I look to be. And uh, he's able to control his team, you know, similar body size to, to what I have. And uh, I think Jason Kidd as well, you know, a point guard who's able to, to, to control the game, lead the team, but, you know, also be able to score the ball if, if that's what they put it to. How would you